A robot that vomits on demand may sound gross, but this humanoid robot has a serious purpose, helping scientists determine how the highly contagious neurovirus spreads. British researcher Catherine Makison Booth calls her creation Vomiting Larry. Larry is comprised of a mannequin head, which is known as Airway Larry, and he's what medical students use to practice things like laryngoscopies on the intubation. So he's very realistic. His esophagus here is then linked to a cylinder which contains the fluid, so that's essentially his stomach. A piston or push rod then pushes the fluid up via and out of Larry's mouth. The neurovirus is unique because it can survive for long periods outside a human host. That makes cleaning up after a sick patient key. We've noticed that, first of all, that the vomit travels a lot further than we anticipated, in excess of three metres, as I've said. Also, you can't see where just exactly the extent of spread. But in what looks like a scene out of CSI, UV light reveals the remnants of fluorescent fluid missed in a simulated cleanup. Mekasan Booth hopes her research will prove an invaluable tool for medical students and be used to train cleaners on cruise ships and oil rigs where outbreaks can be particularly severe. Nick Dietz, CBSNews.com.